Hello everyone and welcome back to another GTA Online guide. In this video I'm going to be taking a look at the Wastelander truck introduced as part of the Import Export DLC so let's get right to the guide. So the Wastelander at the humble price of just $658,350 non-discounted you get a vehicle which is absolutely massive. Seriously, this is like the dump's little sister, but to say it's got the performance of a dump is the absolute opposite of the truth. This thing accelerates quickly and has a pretty decent top speed. The handling through corners is also pretty good. It's too bad we can't make it even better by taking it to the mod shop, but I guess we can never win with these vehicles, can we? Anyways, because of its high up suspension and large wheels, I immediately thought this vehicle could make for a very good off-roader. And I wasn't wrong, this thing pretty much takes on anything you throw at it. However, you do have to be rather careful when riding along roads with a convex profile or taken on corners at a high speed because this thing likes to tip over a lot but overall this thing's pretty good at off-roading I give it a pass in that remark but there's only one problem with this vehicle it's one of those stupid special vehicles which means you have to rely on the glitchy non-reliable interaction menu to call it in or drive all the way to your warehouse to go grab it this would have been much better utilized as a Pegasus vehicle but I guess not being a Pegasus vehicle is a good thing on its own so what makes this vehicle so special you may ask? What possible reason could it be that makes this vehicle require you to own a warehouse to then be able to purchase it? Well, you can carry vehicles with it. No, just kidding, you actually can't do that. What you're seeing right now on the screen is the special mission for the Wastelander, where the car on board is already on board of the bed of the vehicle when you grab it. In free mode, however, this is impossible. Even if you ramp up a car onto the bed, they always end up sliding off whenever you begin to accelerate. So basically, the whole car carrying vehicle thing this vehicle has going on is just for one little mission. So is there anything other than being a good off-road vehicle this truck has going for it? Well, it can carry a driver and passenger in the cabin, as well as up to four people hanging for their dear lives on the back. Those who are in the back can use a variety of weapons, all one-handed. Even a light machine gun, which must mean that every character in GTA Online has the strength of a super soldier from Crisis. Because not only are they hanging on to a light machine gun, which must weigh at least 25 kilograms or 55 pounds for you Americans out there, as well as hold on to the truck with their other hand. Not only that, but people can hold on even if the truck is undergoing even the worst of terrain. The tyres on this vehicle are bulletproof. Hmm, maybe the manufacturers of this vehicle snuck into the armoured Boxville factory and stole all of their bulletproof tyres. But anyways, this thing has bulletproof tyres, but is still susceptible to just one explosion, which is fair, I guess. So overall, this vehicle makes for a pretty fun and effective drive-by vehicle if you have the friends to join you in your campaign to take over the free play lobby. Watch out for Hydras, though. So yeah, this truck isn't the best vehicle in the DLC, but it's pretty good considering that it only costs $658,000. If it cost any more than that, then I wouldn't really recommend this vehicle, but I personally think it's cheap enough to at least be up for consideration. But let me know what you guys think in the comments, and hey, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the Pyro Gaming channel for loads more GTA Online guides coming to you very soon. See you around!